chapter for several reasons. One, you start getting level 5 spell charges. To just... Okay, so no, it looks like it just does a little bit more for the character when you do the cure staff shoot. I'm hoping to get something akin to a heal staff. Alright, but I've got plenty of heal potions now. I should have enough to clear out the rest of this floor of treasure. I already got the one up there that was the dragon, uh, the dragon gauntlet, or the, the dragon nunchucks. Sorry, those will be no good for this team. So I wonder, I wonder how he... Yeah, I, I would have to rotate the staff around, yep. I'd have to do that between battles. Alright, Red Dragon battle, not too bad. Yeah, I would have to move it around between characters. The, the problem is that in battle, um... Yeah, in, in battle, it's just, it's so hard to waste a fighter's attack in battle. You know, it's just, um... Magic shield, huh? That's interesting. Magic shield. Alright, so, um... Looks like I'm gonna have to fight that dragon again. Uh, but I'll have to look up what the magic shield, uh, defends. So I will, I will do that, uh, on the, on the readme here. Oh, so no overflow glitch on the, on the gold? I didn't even notice. I'm at 9, oh, 905. 905, so I have a little bit more, maybe. Something they can equip? Yeah, okay. So it's something the red mages can't equip. Which is nice. Alright, another no escape. Yeah, no, that's okay. No problem. Yeah, no, no problem. Let's see if, if a couple of ice one spells are enough to get some of these. Alright, well, not gonna be enough there. It'll be Ice 2 next turn. No, oh, alright, never mind. It is, looks like it is just enough. You get everybody. <laughs> well, I don't know. If, that, if that's something that's, that's part of the game, then I'll find out. Uh, that's part of the game. I hope I, I hope it's not. I mean, I hope I'm able to get the stuff I need. But, you know, I should be able to get through... I mean, I can't imagine I'll have to grind too, too much more... Um, to get through the, the ice cave. And that, that'll really be the last thing. I don't know if I would need to grind 100,000... Um, 100,000 GP worth of grinding... Before the ice cave. Alright, so I hope what's in here is worthwhile. Let me see my life supply here. So that's the one thing I absolutely cannot afford is someone to get nerfed. Alright, I've got enough ice twos on both of these guys actually. Cool, so no no slow. No slow this time. That bottom one could actually die with a good damage roll. Not quite. Okay, thank you for looking that up. Hopeless. Thank you for taking a look at that. What are we looking at? Another pro ring. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright. Um, 
so that's the place of the mage gauntlet. I don't have anything useless I'm sitting on, though. Oh, it actually doesn't. Okay, the Mage Gauntlet actually doesn't defend against that. I can see on the on that there. So, um, yeah, I will drop the that extra Mage Gauntlet. I thought the Mage Gauntlet uh, granted protection to Fire and Ice, but I was wrong about that. So there we go. So it's definitely worthwhile that I came down here and grabbed that. Okay, there is no GP overflow in the unhacked FF1. Okay. Oops, I know I wanted the attacks on the Hellmask. But again, we'll just do the same thing, Ice 2 and Ice 2. Alright, I'm glad the Hellpad chose to attack rather than slow. Pretty, pretty deadly attack. I'm glad that restarting OBS uh, fixed the sound thing problem. I feel bad about that. Trying to uh, make make a nice video of this, not just for the live stream necessarily. Uh, you know, of course, I do want to look good on the live stream, but I also want to uh, archive these, you know, on YouTube as a kind of example playthrough of this game. Yeah. So that uh, I want to be someone that people can, uh, when they're looking for, hey, what's that? What's that part look like on Final Fantasy DZ that they can look to uh, my archive streams and see what's up without uh, me looking like a total hack as my one character is named. All right. I think there's chest in here, and then I can go down and take a look at Gary. battles are just kind of irritating. So I'll have to kind of cut this together when I'm, when I'm finished today. And actually, thankfully, I'm getting close because I, I am getting close to um, the end of my available available time for streaming, so uh, I'm glad I'm getting close to carry here. Now, I, sh I know I shouldn't be talking like I'm going to assume beating carry is going to happen, but uh, let's just hope for the best. Yeah, and what I can do, like you said, uh, Ark, is I can, I can move the Cure Staff and the White Staves around, because I have two White Staves that cast a I think they just cast Cure 1, and the Cure Staff looks like it might cast Cure 2. So I might just have to rotate those around for some dungeon crawls. But the, the problem you run into is that giving up a fighter's attack to use that as a fighter is just uh, a huge... It, it's, a, it's a huge loss in a battle in, in this game. I've just noticed that, that, that offensive output is so huge in this. That, you know, that that's what makes the heal staff so powerful in, in vanilla is that you can have a, a character that doesn't have the high attack power use that heal staff get some free healing at everybody while your fighters are still putting the, the heavy offensive output out there all right so I'm glad the ice twos got them this this trap battle could have been a lot worse thank you for um, your encouraging words there go so, I hope I'm going to whoop some carry. I also hope that this treasure is, uh, is worthwhile. Gold bracelet. Yes, it is worthwhile. Absolutely is worthwhile. Cool. Uh, yes. And I'm really glad that uh, this, uh, a lot of the restored hacks let you look at what's in the chest before it just tells you can't carry anymore. Too bad. In your face. Alright. 
And these guys are, like, running away from me now. Which is fun. Yeah, that was... I was definitely thinking the green ogre would, would run away. I don't know if the wizard ogres might not be quite running away from my party yet. But it's when you, you know, that's one thing you don't often see when you're not power leveling in this game. Is you start to see a lot of enemies running away. But when you're playing, you know, a normal vanilla version and you're not powering your levels up to the, the mid 30s, like I am. That would be very evil. Uh, goblin. I don't even, I, I think even ZZ uh, would not, would not allow that. I think even ZZ would let us have that. Uh, so now, now go please, have you played or, or heard of Final Fantasy Restored? That's the, the patch of this game that I played previous to this playthrough. Um, where they took a lot of, well, almost all of the bugs, or all of the bugs, made the bugs function how the game probably was supposed to function originally. Uh, and it just plays like a really smooth game, and it does have the additions like the dashing with the, which you can use optionally, the buy 10 feature in the in the stores, which of course you can use um, optionally. So Final Fantasy Restored is, is a really, really nice patch. I, th I mean, I, a lot of these folks here were, were watching me play, they can probably agree that it's, uh, it's a really nice experience to play. Uh, it's, I mean, it's obviously not like this, where the bugs have been fixed, and the game has been made a lot harder. It's just been the bugs are fixed, and then there's a lot of optional patches you can add on to it. Like, you can add, there's a couple of additional pieces of music that were composed for it, uh, that you can optionally, uh, use. Um, there's also the, uh, you can make the menu different colors if you want. You can improve the RNG, which I did. You can make it, instead of encounters going on a fixed, um, a fixed encounter table, uh, you know, in a, in a specific order that is unchanging, you can actually have random battles be truly random, both in how many steps are between the battles and which battle um, set you go. Yeah, it is Marilith time. Uh, although I'm, I'm partial to the, to the old-fashioned carry. Uh, let me check and see to make sure I have everything equipped that I need, that I want. Yeah, pro ring on him. Pro ring on him. These guys are protected from fire and ice, uh, and I'll, I'll cast X barrier on the first turn. Alright. Yeah. Blue, blue would be a nice color to go for the windows. Yeah, maybe I'll try that next time I play. Alright, fight. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna have these guys, Atlas. Atlas. Um, he doesn't have any any buffs. Let me see what Ice 2 does to her. Uh, and X Barrier. Alright, X Barrier off right away. That's a, one of the better things that could possibly happen. Ice 2, yeah, do much. I'm just gonna have him attack, I think. I'm just gonna have them attack. So it's gonna be hold down A, oh, although I will use the free staff now. I'll use the free staff. So that'll that should get him out of his stun this turn. He's still muted, but that's okay. Muted fighter's not so bad. Uh, yeah, definitely doing much better damage just fighting. So that's good to see. Got yeah, 189 from my red mage. 202. But that's without crits. Yeah, those are without crits. So 4 hits, 202 and 228 with, with no crits on, on carry. 4 hits, no crits. Pretty, uh, pretty rough. So we're doing okay, it looks like. There's Flare. Yeah. Alright, and I, I'm actually still clear of her, of the threshold spell. I'm still clear of XXXX. Um, so if she pulls that out, it'll, it will be a wasted turn for her. As long as I'm over 300 threshold, uh, she's fine. So th I think this is just going to be a hold down A battle now. Okay, this, this ought to miss everybody. Yeah, we're higher than 300. So we're all good. I haven't really been watching her hit, her hit points, but um, 
should be getting close. Uh, I think in, in vanilla, I think it was 600. I think Lich was 4, Carrie was 6, Kraken was 8, and Tiamat was 1,000. I think it was the vanilla. There's, there we go. There we go. Okay, she gives me a little bit more gold. Uh, Lich was 666P six, 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 and 666 six, six gold. That was Lich. So there's carry down. Uh, and I think I get the crown here. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at that. Zeus Gauntlet. Oh, yeah, the XXS threshold. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, it was... Uh, the threshold, uh, I think, is 300, because one of the sages in this game told me it was 300. Um, so I don't know if that was changed on that. Yes, this is this is going to be my, my end of stream. I just need to uh, make room for this Zeus Gauntlet here. And I'll pick up the crown, but yeah, uh, once I warp out of here and save, this will be the, the end of the stream. Silver Axe. And there's my, there's the, the crown item that I've been waiting for. That's what we need. There's that. And we're out. Alright. There's the game save. Cool. Well, everyone, I really, really, really appreciate you you stopping by. Here's my there's my end of stream card. That's my uh, my new stream ending card for that. Yep, it feels good to be done. It feels good to to have finally beaten carry. <laughs> That was, uh, that was quite a, that, that was quite an experience. I think I learned, uh, I think I learned more about how to handle this hack, and it is take your dungeons little pieces at a time. Um, I may do some more work on my, on my stream layout. I, I may see if I can do something about those pullovers, uh, that I could use that screen real estate some other way. But, uh, yeah, but yeah, anyway, I do appreciate everybody stopping by and saying hello. Uh, and we will see you soon. go. We are off. Got plenty of hit points I restocked on, everything else that I needed. I do have to run down to Crescent Lake to pick up my boat, my ship. And then I am planning to head over to the Castle of Ordeal to see what I can do down there. And there's my ship conveniently located very near to where I am. You'll notice I'll be running quite a bit here, and that's because I'm trying to actually to save as much experience as I can for after class change. I did some thinking about that and uh, realized that I want to save as many levels for after class change as I can. Okay, yeah, so I have to head to Elfland and straight south from there. That's the best way to get towards the Castle of Ordeal. Doing the, I'm doing this uh, level saving because I forgot about how knights gain magic charges for their level. They do so by uh, every certain number of levels, they gain additional charges that they've, that they've earned after they've become knights. So if I, for example, max my characters out to level 50 before we reached knight class, they would never actually get any white magic charges. Now, not that I plan on using them all that much, but they certainly are convenient for 
out of battle healing uh, in the the final dungeon, which uh, should be a pretty grueling experience for me. I'm gonna be checking my map to see where I am, just so I don't waste extra steps. Because I'm gonna try to be, as I said, running from as many battles as I can. And the fewer battles I get into, the fewer unrunnable battles I will have to fight and take that experience. Because I have two more dungeons here before I'll be able to get the class change. Now I know ordeals isn't uh, necessarily required. Oops! Looks like I have a long, a long, a longer walk than normal ahead of me here. That's been adjusted, so I'm going to make a save here, actually, in case I do run into trouble. Because it looks like... Alright, so this is a no-retreat kind of battle. And it may be that I'm not able to do ordeals very well. Okay, four hits, 360. I'm watching... Okay, I'm watching my fighter there with the axe, because I did pick up the silver axe at the end of the volcano. Okay, so yeah, the, the, walk, the walk to the castle is longer. And I uh, have some unescapable Saria battles. And I'm watching to see uh, if the axe penalty in accuracy is, uh, is worth taking for the increase in damage. It looks like so far he's doing pretty well. He hasn't missed any attacks yet. As his uh, multiplier goes up, or as his as his level goes up one or two more levels, it may be that I put him back to the silver sword because he will. They they're about two levels away, my fighters, from getting another attack multiplier with the silver sword. So that might end up being a better deal. But I thought I would try out the axe. Since it was hidden in, in such a place that uh, would make you think it's, pretty, it's a pretty significant upgrade to what you have just based on the information I've been communicated so far from the game. Generally things that are, are difficult to get to or, or well guarded are worth it. I don't think I've seen any trolley treasure chests yet. <laughs> Alright, this is a no retreat battle. So this one, I, I actually might not survive this one. This is a this is a nasty one to run into. You also saw I picked up a couple of additional spells for my red mages. Okay, so I got all of them with slow. Except for that top Tyro. And actually I may I may go after them with Mute as well. I picked up both of those spells at uh, actually at ZZ's recommendation from the designer of this hack himself. Thought that it might be good uh, for me to pick up those spells. 
Okay, so fast probably overcame the slow there. So let's see if we can get the wyvern. If, had I cast mute, probably would have stopped him from using fast, but that's okay. I cannot remember now if the pyros or the or the wyvern and or the worm enemies, I should say, not the wyvern enemies. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start playing defensively and uh, and curing myself here. that because he's gonna get nerfed very soon if I don't get him some hit points. You know, in a battle like this, you can uh, really get taken out rather quickly. So I'm glad I made a uh, tent save out there. Let's hit him with one more tier two. Alright, there's the stone status, and yeah, there's a crit on the fighter. I'm actually going to have to reset here. So I'm just gonna let the let the monsters here kill me. So I'm just gonna take a take a death to reset. I was going to try to run. I know it's an unrunnable battle, so... Uh, there's Quake. So I'll have to hope to not run into this fight on this next attempt to get to Ordeal. That's okay, because I really don't want to win a battle like that. I don't want that experience. Because that battle would give up a pretty, pretty healthy chunk of experience. So it might take, maybe once I get around the corner, I'll use one more tent. Okay, sandworms. There's no escape on the sandworms. I'm not sure what they can do, but let's hit them with slow. Okay, so it only landed on one of them. That bottom one. Let's see what kind of damage it takes for these guys. Alright, so now I'll focus my attacks on the one that's not been slowed. So even getting to the Castle of Ordeal is a little bit more of an ordeal in this version. And that's okay. doesn't have a, uh, he doesn't have one of my healing, I have three different healing staves, but they're all single target only, so I actually can't use, use it as you would a heal staff in the vanilla version of this game, should have had him attack, yep, so now I'm leaving myself open for another, uh, another big hit, now that they've hit me with void, Let's see if we can get him here quick. There we go. So I don't really want this experience, but I'll take it if I have to. Yeah, 2,000 experience. Another no escape. Let's see if I have something that can help. Um, well, I need to get one of my one of my damage one of my damage staves in his hand. This guy has all of the damage saves, it looks like. Let's see if I can put some of these guys to sleep. Warp is like Rub. Warp is, a, is an instant death targeting spell. And it works like Rub. Let's see if any of these guys are... Okay, they, they are susceptible to it. And again, I'd rather not have this battle be inescapable, but uh, but it is. And they've got access to paralyzed and poison attacks, just with their with their status attack. Because I don't know if I've run into this particular enemy yet. Let's 
Yeah, hold is quite a nasty spell. And uh, sadly, the wrong red mage got there because he was going to use the move staff, which cures um, the, the stun status. The move staff cures stun status. But I don't have the move staff on this last red mage. So this battle might not uh, not end favorably for me. So I might have to I'm, I might have to tent up after every battle, getting to the Castle of Ordeals here. And I have enough tents to do that. But I don't want to use too many resources getting getting to the castle, because I'm sure the castle is going to be quite a quite an experience. There's hold again. So I could have cast I could have cast mute with this one to uh, prevent him using hold, but I'm gonna have to be watching for that a little bit more often now. Yeah, it looks like this one's gonna be another uh, unsuccessful battle. I'm just going to use the reset function of the, uh, the emulator. So I might have to tent after every battle here, because any one of these can turn deadly on me. Strike first. Alright, well that's lucky. We can get that far without running into a battle. Now we, uh, can advance a little bit more quickly. Ooh, a, uh, a red ank ankleosaur. Yes. So I am grabbing some screenshots, as you see. You know what, I forgot to save after that one, but that's okay, because this is another one that I can get away from. And now I will save. Now that I'm around the corner, let's lock in that progress. One thing I just thought that I can do to kind of keep my fighters from getting too much experience is uh, just just do what I'm doing here now. Keep them in the front row where they can be turned to stone quickly and easily by these monsters. Ooh, a metal climb. These guys are a... Uh, a nod to the metal climbs in uh, the Dragon Quest series. Let's see if I can get away from this one. I don't know if I saw a no retreated thing in this one. There may have been one flashing. One may have flashed. Oh, and it looks like they have a chance to run as well. So they're they're a definite nod to to the Dragon Quest Metal Climb. I did get away from the battle, but I lost the character. Yep. So I am gonna have to reset. I did I did successfully escape the battle. Okay, and this one is a, is no escape. Sadly. See if mute does me any good. Silencing the Medusas pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure what the Medusas' abilities are like. Okay, with the Hellcats, I wish they had been muted. They definitely would not have been able to use Ice 2. Okay, so I'm using the, the mute and slow combo, as was recommended by ZZ. And let's see if that makes these battles a little bit less deadly. And one thing I am not sure about is if um, Glance uh, is, is stopped by mute in this version. I don't believe in vanilla. I'll have to check the readme. I'm sure it's in the README, 
but uh, I had not thought to check that. Because I don't usually use uh, mute or slow in vanilla, but vanilla is just a totally different game than this one, so I hadn't uh, I hadn't looked up much. But I believe abilities aren't blocked by mute. But this one may very well may have uh, abilities blocked by mute. I am not sure. I would have to check the README for that. Because again, I, I believe Glance is an ability rather than a spell. So some monsters have a, uh, a, a spell progression, a spell list, and an ability list. And I think the game checks it in order of... I'm going to use, just to get a little bit of health back here. Because I don't mind my fighters being turned to stone to miss out on experience, but I can't have them dying. I can't have my fighters getting uh, getting knocked out. Alright. So, um, I'm going to save a house for now. Get my hit points back. Yeah, that's good enough for hit points. Alright, let's see what Ordeals is like. Okay, this guy, his text might still be the same. Alright, this is a interesting combo. I wonder if that's a spike square right there. Let's see if we can just get out of here. Good. Okay, can't go that way. This this floor has been edited. You have to take a little bit longer way through this first floor here. Um, so far, the enemies look a little bit like the enemies outside, so hopefully it's the same mix of enemies in here that it would be manageable for me if I'm using the using my spells intelligently. Okay, so this one is a no escape spiked boss fight. Uh, I would expect that probably from a game like this. I'm definitely going to use the mute, uh, the mute spell here. I, I might, might as well use my slow as well. If I run out of these spells, then... Uh, Alright, ineffective on the... The enemy, that's the one I really wanted to hit, was the mage enemy. That's what I would have wanted to see. Now in this one, I won't reset in this one if I get a character knocked out. I will continue if I get a character knocked out. Because I want to be able to see what this looks like. Uh, and I don't know if the mage has an immunity to mute. If I wasn't streaming, I would look it up. As, as a lot of things with this game, uh, limitations on streaming it, as opposed to just playing it casually. Okay, so I did get the mage enemy silence, so let's switch over to the nightmare. Okay, so yeah, Void Void is like expert, removes your resistances, and I believe it works on top of your of your gear that offers you resistance, but I'm not sure about that. I have to check the readme on that. Again, that's another thing that I could do if I if I wasn't streaming, as I would pause the battle and, and check that, but I have to check that later. Now hopefully with the mage being silenced, I'm gonna try to Okay, so he will just he will attack. That's okay, I'm going to use this opportunity to get some free healing. Let's see if I can put him to sleep as well. Now sadly, again, I don't have the heal staff that targets everybody. I'm wondering if I'm going to find that in here, like you do in the vanilla. But I'm not sure. Oh, so when you're silenced, you can't use the cure staff. That's interesting. Okay. Well, good to know. Good to know. 
Again, I'm not I'm not anticipating getting through this dungeon on the first attempt. But if I do, then lucky me. But for future reference, this might be a, a good battle to... If I can get a mage enemy muted, this might be a good battle to just hang out for a while. And, uh, and get some health back for free. Yeah, Holy 2 blocked, so he does... He did have a spell blocked that time. I wish I could use that Cure Staff on the top fighter. That's okay, I'll just take the free healing on the other characters who can do it. Oh, I guess the other Red Mage is full. Because right now he's not really very effective. Tell the characters who uh, who don't have healing items. Great, that battle went pretty well, and not a ton of experience that I don't want, so that's good. And I'll just use I'll use some heal potions because this dungeon hopefully is short. I'm not sure if it's not actually going to be short in this version. Uh, but let's trade that. Yeah, so he now has an attack spell. And I don't know if the if the route has been changed in this one. Yeah, it does look like it's um, the, the maze is a little bit more challenging. All right, here's a no escape fight. Let's see if I can put them to sleep. Yeah, wow. This is a rough fight. Alright, the Medusas. Two of them are dark and asleep. And there's Mute hitting them with silence. That's great, that's great. Let's continue this. I'm going to keep going after that uh, great peed if I can, because he's going to be... Looks like doing a pretty healthy amount of damage to me. Good. And the Medusas don't look too threatening, so we should be alright. The stone is actually not bad on that on that character. If the other one gets turned to stone, uh, I also wouldn't be upset to have him miss out on this experience. All right, and this should be the last round. Because we're doing such good damage. We're doing excellent damage. Because we are quite over leveled. And just standard healing. So I can see the, the route through the castle has been changed. So I'm going to take the upper pillar now on this one. So hopefully I'm advancing. Uh, normally you take the lower pillar here. Okay, so that got me back to this one. And no escape from the red D. Um, we should all, except the last one, be protected from fire and ice, so I'm just going to try to go all out. And if we all get good attacks off, we may be able to take him down. If he has hit points near where they are in the vanilla version, yes. Alright, so we'll take that. So, up again this time. 
So I keep getting warped back to that other spot if I take the wrong choice. Okay, so right there. So now I do have to go down. So you can work by process of elimination. Work your way through this. So it's not going to be the one down there. I think this this might be the one that uh, is the trickiest one. Um, yeah, these guys... I don't know if I want to use... Mute on these guys. I can't remember what the mud. Oh yeah, the wizards do have spells in this version. I forgot about that. Slow might not be a bad idea in this fight as well. But I'm going to try to go without slow. This should be manageable now that it's just the two mud golems. Great, that was the one that uh, fasted itself. And that was enough. That was a pretty clean fight. I probably can't assume that uh, all those fights will be as clean. So I'm going to try to find a different one here this time. Go for this one all the way. That several choices here. I bet I bet just one of them will bring me on and all the other ones will take me back. So let's go all the way down here. Okay, so nope. Not that one. Not all the way and down. I've learned. This leads to lots of extra steps and lots of inescapable battles. So if I end up getting nerfed in this one, at least I'll have new information. So I'll pretend it's Pretend it's like a roguelike. Actually, let's do this. Let's put them to sleep again. That seemed to work well. I know I muted them last time as well, but I didn't see them try to use spells that, that got blocked, so let's see if I can put the Medusas to sleep. Okay, the top one, the bottom one, and the front one are all asleep. Okay. Okay, and one woke up. That's fine. I'm not sure which one woke up. But I'm going to try to put them back to sleep again. To try to just avoid some damage. Being very methodical here. And I have to remember which of those pillars I've entered. So far. So this maze is a little... It's just different. It's about the same difficulty so far as the vanilla version. If you were just approaching it blind. I know the way through the vanilla one well enough. That uh, that is not really a challenge. Once you know exactly the path you need to take, you can avoid a lot of exploration and a lot of battles. But sleep seems to be pretty killer on the Medusa. Medusa. I wonder if, if that's how you would spell that. Medusa with an E at the end of it. In Greek. Medusa. Medusa. I do. It doesn't matter. And I seems like the axe is really doing a ton of damage. And I'm not getting the misses. Like I was like I was scared of. So the axes seem to be working pretty well. All right. So let's try again, going all the way around, but not the bottom one. Let's go all the way around to the top. Okay, looks like all the way around to the top is the way to go. Uh, I'm going to handle this one the same way I handled the last one. By going all out and hoping to not get taken out by a fire 3 spell or something on the, on the first turn. Everyone's protected against fire except Hack, the last red mage there. Alright, here's where I am hopefully going to start picking up my treasures. Alright, no escape on this one. So I'll go ahead and burn a Fire 3 spell, and uh, I'll burn an Ice 2 spell for the for the Hellbats, because this is a mix of Fire Weak and Fire Resistant enemies. The fire 3 should, uh, should take out the Gargoyle but probably won't do very much damage to the Hellbats. Yeah, you can see it does very little to the Hellbats. Uh, Ice 2 should 
do a lot more to the Hellbat. Okay, I'm glad it took out at least one of them. Sunstab. I'll attack one of these Hellbats. Um, I'm going to use the Snow Staff here. And my, my Zeus Gauntlet, just because my, my hits are going to be quite low. So it's going to help to have access to those. Right, I'm glad it took both of those guys down. They were both very low. Did you see how low that was? Wow, not much damage there at all. That's okay. I'll have him use the Cure Staff and the other three all fight. We should together be able to do enough damage. That was an excellent, excellent plan, if I do say so myself. Alright, now, there should be some... There, If this was vanilla, there would be a trap square right inside this door. And then there would also be a trap square in front of that chest. Now, I believe I remember reading, but I, I'm not sure, that uh, the double chests have been removed in this one. Um, the vanilla version has some strange double chests where there's one item that can be picked up from one of two chests, and once you get it from one chest, it is gone from the other one. And that's the case with the heal staff right here. You can grab it right here, or you can grab it around the corner where it's not protected. Now, there, there we go. We do have a battle with nightmares. Uh, in the vanilla version, I believe it's just nightmares. Let's see if we can get mute and slow on these guys. I was hoping to get mute off a little bit sooner. Okay, in it. Alright, I silenced the mage. That's the, the one I really wanted to silence. I would have liked to silence the nightmare as well. I'm just gonna keep fighting. I may try to put them to sleep, but there might not be enough of them to make it worth trying to sleep them. Good. See the, those spells getting blocked from the mage enemy? Alright, so I've got the bad man asleep. Great. This is a really nice battle. Mute and slow really do make a big difference, so I do uh, a shout out to ZZ for his feedback and, and letting me know to pick those up. Boom cluing me into just how how powerful those can be. And I'll just I'll restore some health here with these guys. Okay, I'll just fight with him. And I'll just take this chance to get some free healing. Good. Good to see him continuing to try to use spells. I'll be making heavy use of the of the mute spell. That's actually really overcoming a lot of the difficulty here. Uh, but as in as in any old game like this, especially when you're playing a hard type hack, uh, good planning is is imperative. And uh, I don't always have the best plans. I never claim to have the best plans, of course. But uh, often good good planning can uh, have a big big impact. More, more so than power leveling. It's certainly more fun than power leveling. Although I do, st I do stand by my power leveling stance for streaming purposes. Good bomb got blocked. Look at that. You can see this guy has some pretty hefty defense. You can see my attacks are really not doing very much. But you can also see he's not doing much to me. So if I had a heal staff and lots of time, this would be where I could just charge up my everybody to full. Alright, I'm assuming there is a fight here. Alright, it's a, a red dragon and a frost dragon, so I am going to cast X Barrier. He doesn't have it, but I'll also try to mute them. 
Hello, Shahali. Thank you for stopping in before breakfast. <laughs> Appreciate you stopping by. Okay, so I didn't get X Barry off, so that did a little more damage. Although, it looks like my Red Mage at the bottom should have taken more damage from that, probably. But that's okay. X Barrier should protect from ice. Although, I, I guess I'm protected from ice, the same equipment that protects against fire. But thank you, Shahali, for stopping in. An ice dragon should go down, yeah, in one hit. Look at that. That's the result of my power leveling. All right, there's the heal staff. That's what I've been waiting for. That's a big one. That is a huge one. For me, uh, all that free healing is going to be immensely important. So, very, very good. Whoops, I want the... Cure Staff in his hand. Sure, I'll do that. So we have White, White, Heal, and Cure. Perfect. Perfect. That's what I want. I should got, should have gotten a screenshot of the In the Chest You Found Heal Staff. And uh, I think I could have avoided this one. I think I could have avoided this battle. I'm going to have to do Mute again. Yeah. I think you can go around this fight, although maybe you can't. I can't remember. Now that I, I can't see the map, uh, maybe you can't get around this fight. Alright, there's Warp. I'm glad Warp missed. Hopefully we get him muted. Nope, not quite. Silence the bad man and the mage, though. So the Nightmare is our nemesis for now. Uh, I'm going to use the Free Staff, which, if he uses it, yes, this should cure the stun status from my first fighter. Uh, in this hack, I have to say I really enjoy using all of these uh, new pieces of equipment. I really enjoy these items. They do make it uh, quite fun. And now again, I'll be using the heal staff quite a bit. Mage's stun gets blocked by silence. I think I only have one more silent spell left, so I need to be careful about that, because I think there is a gauntlet of bosses before you get the rat tail, rather than just one boss. I believe it's a uh, rather nasty gauntlet. So if I could have avoided this one and could have saved a casting of Mute, um, I would have liked to have done so. I'll have to get the heal staff up to the front, because I'm going to be using that an awful lot. Okay, his health is full. Yeah, maybe, maybe I couldn't get around that one. Alright, these look... These have the look of trap squares as well. So let's heal up the rest of the way. Although I'm sure... I saved myself a number of heal potions by using the heal staff there. Okay, no escape here. So let's just go all out on offense in this one something that I'm privileged to be able to do. I'm wondering how my last character is protected. It seems like he's protected from fire and ice, but I thought that he wouldn't be. Because those the fighters have the Axis armor and Axis shield, which blocks fire and ice, I believe. And DZ has the magic shield, which defends fire and ice. And this is going to be trapped as well. Alright, and I and ghosts. Alright. So now the question is going to be to use this last mute or not. That's going to be, that's going to be the issue. Let's say no. Let's go all out on these, on these guys. Yeah, let's go, let's go all out on these guys and uh, 
hope to not get hit with a, uh, a warp spell, which is like a rub spell. But I'm not sure what the eye's capabilities are. Okay, there's boom. So that would have been a good one to have locked, but as long as we can have everybody survive this fight, uh, I'll be glad I didn't use my last casting of Mute. So let's go with, with more Fire 3s. Although it seemed that they weren't taking a whole lot of damage from Fire 3s. The ghosts are. It seemed that the eye wasn't. Maybe it'd be better to attack the eye. Yeah, okay. Alright, we all survived. So now let's grab these chests. But I'm gonna heal before I do so. Just so I don't forget. This is turbo button healing. Okay, money. Not as concerned about money. Uh, black shield. I don't think... Anyone can equip Black Shield. Let me check. I do have the README up here. Black Shield is just Ninja and Black Wizard. So let me get a screenshot, but I'm going to leave that in the chest. And let me make sure I'm able to handle a battle here, because I'm guessing this is going to be trapped as well. Yes? Mud Golem and Wizards. Um, let's go for offensive again here. Let's see, let's work, let's tempt fate a little bit by going for heavy offense one more time. Don't have lit for from him, do I? For him. I have lit two. I should have moved my Zeus Gauntlet to the other character then. Cause he has lit two uh, from the Zeus Gauntlet. I may have handled the distribution there badly. But I want to save that last casting of Mute. And Heal Staff was probably a bad choice to use. I kind of panicked when I didn't ha when I saw I didn't have a way to uh, cast Lit 2 on them. And I'll be picking up Lit 3 once I get the airship. of this, uh... Yeah, there we go. That, do that does the kind of damage I want to do. Actually, let's get... Let's just spread these out here. I'll use the heal staff again. And, uh, hope I get the Zeus Gauntlet off quickly. There we go. This should take out the other wizards. Good, got all three. A little health back. I can tell that this would have been quite a, quite a bit more difficult had I not been so so over leveled. And I also need to look up the um, the formula for. Whoops, I'll be using the heal staff again. The formula for uh, targeting of spells like like warp, which is again, replaces the rub spell in this game. Wow, that uh, that did massive damage. That quake was massive. Yikes. Alright, I'm glad. I'm actually glad I escaped with my life on that one. Okay, another dragon nunchuck. So actually, this was uh, not... I didn't find anything useful here. I found some money. Uh, the Black Shield, which would have been great if I had a Black Mage, Black Wizard. Alright, so I'm out of that area. Let me get, um, let me heal a little bit more here, just in case we do run into another nasty Unrunnable. And these are going to be trapped as well. Uh, but I am going to see what's up what's going on. If I get knocked out, I'll be able to get through this dungeon pretty quickly if I do get knocked out. Okay. 
and I'll handle this just like I did the other ones. Now, again, without the power level power leveling, I wouldn't be able to do this with this particular combo. To just go all out uh, offense, and it looks like I, you know I have two attacks wasted there, but I'm glad I took one out the first round because uh, my fighter with the axe might not have gotten such a big crit. Although maybe maybe if I fight this battle again, I might try that. I might try just having uh, just splitting the attacks up and uh, see if I can get them both in one round, or at least get one in a round again. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna be tempting fate once once again with this with this eye combo, um, and I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna have to go with the fire two here because. Oh, I want to save some of my Fire 3s for the big battles coming up. And again, because I don't know what's coming, um, I have to make some kind of tough, to cho tough choices with my resource management, and that uh, adds to the tension of the game, of course. Alright, that was a good crit on the eye enemy there. Ooh, there's boom. Okay. So if I do get nerfed here and have to come back through, um, I'll know that I want to save my mute charges if possible for these enemies so that I can get so that I can avoid stuff like boom hitting me. Um, I have to use the fire three to see if I can get these ghosts out of here. All right. So I lost the fighter. still going to continue on, uh, try to at least find out what's in these chests, and if I can finish the dungeon, then I will absolutely finish the dungeon, if I can. I'm going to give it my very, very best, but if I can't, uh, I will know, I will know what's around, and uh, I should be able to do it pretty easily the next time through. Switch my guys around. Uh, yeah, so I will know not to go to those chests up there. I can avoid all of those trap squares because there's nothing uh, of use for me up there. Okay, light axe, that's going to be important, and holy sword. So these are going to be important for me. These are going to be important for me. Yeah, so I'll get rid of the Falchions. Light Axe and Holy Sword are going to be useful for me. Uh, let me take a look at what Holy Sword looks like. So, we've got... He's got Silver Axe now. 58-116. Oh! Can't equip the Holy Sword. Can the Red Mage equip the Holy Sword? All right, he can. All right. Let's see what the difference is for the Red Mage. So ZZ right now has 38124 to 39.124. I wonder if it use, does something on use in battle. Let me check. I, I have the... Uh, I have the readme here, just in case I found such a thing. So Light Axe casts Harm 2, uh, that's the same. And Holy Sword casts Holy. Which I think is just a white mage, uh, all-targeting spell. Uh, but I, I don't, it's not like Harm. It's not like Harm. Alright. There's a Light Axe, so that will be helpful in the coming battle, actually. Okay. Try this one. Oops, you know what? And I still didn't move over my... my Zeus Gauntlet to the character so that I could spread out my castings of Lightning 2. I said I needed to do that.
Yeah, so yeah, the Holy Sword does uh, cast Holy in battle. Uh, I didn't look at his evade percent. Um, I, di I didn't look that far. Let me check that after this battle, Shahali. Uh, yeah, so it does look like it casts Holy in battle. I'm, I am not sure what Holy's uh, effectiveness is in battle. Um, oh, you know what? No, I'm going to go to the Golems for that. Try to get some health back. I I'll check his evade after this battle. If his evade percent went up, then that's good. Obviously. Okay, good. It missed Mute on the mages, because Mute does block the use of staves, and uh, I assume also the Zeus Gauntlet. Okay, there's that wizard. There's that one down. Alright, so we should be able to win this one. Alright, so hopefully I'll save myself some potions here. Maybe before the last gauntlet of, uh, of bosses in this dungeon, I will, uh, I'll, I'll double check to see what Holy does. Although I'm not, I don't think it would be any more effective than, like, Harm 2 on the upcoming undead stuff. Harm 2 probably is going to be the better, the better choice. Quake, oh, I'm glad I healed up a little bit there. I wish he hadn't done Quake. But I'm glad I got a little bit more healing. Okay, red shield. That's going to be important. Uh, that's something... I think it's a red mage only uh, piece of equipment. So, let's... Um, yeah, let's drop that turban. Get the red shield. Uh, so now I'll have one with a magic shield and one with a red shield. Evade 63 with holy sword. Wow, cool. Oh, maybe maybe Red Shield is Red Wizard only. Maybe it's Red Wizard only. Okay, ZZ has that. Yeah. Yeah, so see, yeah, the Evade went, uh... The Evade jumped... The Evade jumped up there. Huh. That's interesting. Okay, name, strength, hit percent, crit rate. Okay, there's not a note in the readme about um, Holy Sword doing anything for um, for evade percent. Huh. Uh, the red shield. Okay, is red wizard only. Oh, this is, that's okay, Shahali. Uh, it may have been because I moved some of my equipment around. 70 now, but it, it may be because I moved some of my equipment around. Um, I'm looking... Oh, it was 70 with the silver sword? Okay. Yeah, there's nothing... It doesn't say anything about equip weight or anything with that. Let me, let me take a look at that one more time. So, it is 70. You're right about that. It is 70. With the silver sword. And 70, yeah. There may have, yeah, there may have been an error there. That's okay. Um, I am going to check and see what Holy does. So, the red shield is definitely a um, red wizard only item. Uh, and let me look up Holy's. Okay, so, Holy in Battle is just a 20, 20 base uh, attack, all enemies spell, uh, with, with no elements. That's what Holy is. So it's just a, a non-elemental 20 base damage. Well, we weren't, we weren't sure, Tito Kazemi, 
we weren't sure, and I didn't I didn't notice it. Uh, but I'll I'll look. I'll I'll try to remember to take a look at that on the um, on the vod of this of this stream. I'm running low on resources here, so I'm gonna try to. Now uh, here's another another no escape battle. Not great. Um, who has that light axe though? I hope it's not the dead guy with the light axe. That would have been really silly of me not to move that around. But I'm gonna have to fight. I'm gonna have to fight. Yeah, that was silly of me. I didn't move the light axe around. But it is still possible for me, I think, to finish this um, with some with some luck here, even with a dead fighter. But if I do not, if I do get knocked out, um, I should be able to go through the this dungeon again pretty quickly. Although, obviously, that's not ideal. That's not what I want to do. But I definitely need to move my useful stuff off of the dead guy. The remainder of this dungeon. And I have to trade my Zeus Gauntlet around as well. Um, so let's move you around there. Put the turbine on you. Okay, now I've got to get the light axe out of here. Um, let's put it in place of the snow staff. Put the sun staff in place of the of the flame staff because that just casts fire one. I'll have no I'll have no need to cast fire one on any of these guys. I have no desire to cast Fire 1 on this final gauntlet here. Alright, so, uh, let's heal up as best we can. I'll try to get my front guys as high as I can get them. Uh, no problem, Charlie. It doesn't... it's alright. Alright. No escape here. Alright, but this guy should have the Zeus Gauntlet now. And this guy should have... Yeah, this guy is lit too, so... I should be able to... Get the wizard down in just the one round here. I don't even know if this is part of the actual uh, final boss gauntlet. I don't know if this is a spike square or if it is a just a very unfortunate random battle. It would be really sad if I was one step away from being able to avoid this battle. That would be really sad. Although, uh, let me see if I can do something. If I can get this down to just one golem, I may be able to get some free healing. So I might actually do that. If I can get this down to one golem, I don't know if these guys are susceptible to sleep or not. I might cast... I might cast slow... on that bottom one. If I can get this down to one golem that's not doing very much damage... Uh, although they can cast Quake, can't they? And I don't want to use a Mute casting. So never mind, I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, Tito Kazim... Many battles are, uh, yeah, are looking unrunnable, uh, and it is unfortunate. But it's something, it just makes this game a little bit more like a, you just gotta kind of think of it like a roguelike. Like, every dungeon in this is a little bit like going after a, a roguelike dungeon. <laughs> I know, I, I'm not sure if that's what the designers had in mind, but that's what I was kind of comparing it to. Uh, where everything's kind of grueling and you have to really manage your resources carefully. Yeah, because I bet that was just a regular battle. Uh, I, obviously, I'm not certain of that. Uh, but I bet it's, I bet these next three piles are trapped. And let's see what we have. Okay, see, this is the nastiest one, actually. Uh, I really don't like this one. But let's see if I can get the ghost with a couple of fire twos. Alright, I'm glad the glare is 
Rat's Tail is not quite an amulet of Yendor. Uh, I'm sad to say I don't know that reference. I assume it's from a, a roguelike game, that's what we're chatting about. Let's see if I can get a little bit more free healing here, that would be excellent. Nope, Boom is gonna come out. I wish Boom hadn't come out. That's really a drain on my on my health when that's not what I need right now. Okay, see that's what I wish he had done last round, because yeah, this round I'll get him. But I have zero heal potions left. So I'm gonna have to get through two more battles. Alright, so this one's not so bad. I can handle this battle. Ooh, there's the Holy Sword. Pulling that out for the first time. Excellent. Alright. And I'll use my... Heal Staff again. Just to get something. Just to get a little bit of healing. Ah. Alright. So I probably could have had him attack and avoided that lizard attack. Alright, one more battle here, gang. Uh, let's use up some of our... Cure spells. Alright, that's the only healing he has. He has some Cure 2 spells. So actually, we should be in pretty good shape as long as this last battle isn't super nasty. Um, and let me double check my equipment. Um, I'm guessing this next one is going to involve zombie dragons. But I don't know how many and in what capacity it will involve them. But they are kind of a nasty one. So let me look here. So he's just got... He's just going to be attacking. Um, he's got the light axe for... Attacks on those guys. I'm going to move this actually over here. So he can cast harm to... Um, yeah, we can try... Yeah, so he can cast harm to... And heal. And we can be going at it. Okay, let's do it. Let's dive in. Okay, so this is actually a battle I've fought a few times before. Um, this is a, a, one of the battles from the Peninsula of Power. So I have, I have fought and beat this battle many times before. Um, I don't know if I've beaten it with three, only three party members. It kind of depends on on the luck I get with the Fire Threes. If I can get all of, the, of those vampires with these two Fire Threes, we should be in pretty good shape. So if I get good damage to get both vampires, we should be alright. Okay, so not quite there. Alright, that was a nice hit. I think we're, I think we're gonna be okay. Uh, is that, was that his last Fire 3? That was his last Fire 3. So let's go to Harm 2. This is just all-out offense now. 66. Probably would have done more damage just attacking. But I wanted either of them to be able to, to get it. There's the tail. And here we are back on the first floor. Now we just have to try not to get um, a game over from an enemy on the way out here. You have no idea how scared I am. Yeah, as you said, no ineffective turns. But you guys have no idea how scared I am of, of getting a game over on the way out of this thing. I have no more <laughs> I have no more healing left
Did that say no escape, or did that say strike first? I really don't know. Shoot. I think it said no escape. Um... Yeah, I think it said no escape. Oh, uh, um... So I'm, I'm gonna use... It did say strike first? Okay. Then... Let's go. Okay, I'm glad you... I'm glad you saw that better than I did, Tito Kazim. Um... Thank you very much. I owe a great debt to you. I think these... Okay. We're out. We're out, we're out, we're out. I'm glad you noticed that. Thank you for, uh... Letting me know on that. Wow, okay. Cool. So I got the tail, and we're set. Now I have to get my way back to the ship. Uh, and if you weren't tuning in earlier, the route back to the ship is a long one. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate you you letting me know on that. I feel embarrassed, but that with, with the speed turned up as high as it is, you know, I'm, I'll, I'm gonna get a game over here. Uh, almost guaranteed I'll get a game over here. Uh, because this is a... This is a really nasty encounter, and it's unrunnable, and it's knocked me out a few times. But I saved outside of the of the castle, so we're good. So it's like it almost doesn't matter. I don't even care that I'm gonna get knocked up. Yeah, you're right, Kirkazim. Yeah, you do just have a second there. With, and that's just because my battle speed is turned up all the way. Because most of the time, I don't need to see what it says. I can see damage readouts quickly. Okay, and I'm glad you caught it on stream here, Tito Kazim, because uh, I stream, you know, only at 20 frames per second because my computer doesn't have the, uh, the power to stream any, any higher. So it probably, it shows up for... <laughs> probably a little bit shorter time uh, on the viewer's end, so I'm glad you caught that, because I, I was, I really thought I was going to have to fight that battle. And I, you know, I may have been able to handle a little bit if I had cast Fire 2 and, and Harm 2, you know, from the, from the axe. Here, look, here's the Astos fight. That's interesting. It's our old friend Astos. I can't remember what his weaknesses are, but... There's his rub spell missing. Okay, so not much damage from Ice 2. Okay, so he's got some magic resistance, so I'm just gonna hold... Hold A. But uh, yeah, I got knocked out several times on my way to the Castle of Ordeal, so I'm going to be kind of tense scumming here on the way back. Where I'll just, I'll use tense after every, um, every battle or so, because I probably will game over a couple times. See, here's another one that can knock me out. This is another really nasty battle. Because the, uh, so the Manticore enemies can cast Hold on you, although I've silenced them, they're muted, so um, they're they're okay now for the rest of the, of the fight. But they cast Hold, which does uh, Paralyze and something else. Does it do Paralyze and Darkness or something? It, it does. It's not just Paralyze, I think, when the enemies use it. So it's Paralyze Plus. I need to put up my my zombie DX. Use the free staff. And oh, he doesn't have any attack uh, any attack moves now. Yeah, there's hold getting blocked, thankfully. Yes, Tito Kazim. It was it was actually at the uh, at the recommendation of ZZ himself that I picked up mute and slow before this uh, before this stream, and I'm really glad I did. 
Because I never use them in the vanilla version. I just never use them because it's not usually worth it. But uh, I've, I've been using them heavily uh, already here. So he said that would make things a lot easier and could have saved a good amount of power leveling. So that there's another, another turn getting wasted. So I actually might get another character knocked out on this on this battle, but again, it doesn't matter. Or I might actually get a game over in this battle. Yep, uh, that's when I think of mute uh, Tito. That's also what I think of in the vanilla version is using it to help me get through the peninsula and and maybe Astos if I have if I'm having trouble. But generally, Astos with most party configurations is doable. So I'm gonna get a game over here. I, I might just if I get another one of these, I might just reset because I do want to save experience on the fighters. I want to. As much as possible, I want to save experience on them. Alright. This one's not too bad. This, won't, this one won't give me too much experience. So the Holy Sword puts him into five hits. That's fun. Yeah, it's hard. It, <laughs> I, I would, would never use slow. But in this one where it targets all enemies... And it uh, and it really does work very well, and really really knocks out a lot of their damage. It's uh, it's quite helpful. But here on this on this area of the world map, almost every battle is unrunnable, uh, and I'm assuming that that becomes more of an issue as the game goes on. That just eventually you just have to expect every fight or nearly every fight. I'm only guessing that uh, many many fights become unrunnable. But that's why I want to save experience on the fighters so that when they're knights, I can maximize how much MP growth they get. Because, yeah, here's another one. Because I like to be able to get a few good castings of, uh, of, of Cure and Cure 2. Yeah, Tito, Tito, I I agree about that. Yeah, with with you being a little bit higher level, um, you can deal with more multi-hitting stuff a little bit better. It's still not still not easy. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's that's changed up quite a bit. Yeah, the, the map is, is quite different there. Yeah, it did save, save a couple steps. Yeah, you're right. So in some ways, uh, the, the world redesign has been, has been really smart. Uh, I, have to, I have to say that. In some ways, the world redesign is, is very smart. Uh, yes, I am airshipless still. Uh, I haven't done the ice cave yet. That's where I'm heading next, though, actually. Is the ice cave. And then after that, uh, hopefully we'll have our airship and be ready to go. Uh, the ice cave is also fairly easy to get to, if I understand correctly. Um, you can kind of just walk down to it from Provoca, so I'm going to do that. Uh, that river redesign, once you know your way around the river uh, that goes around the ice cave and the volcano, it's actually pretty easy to get around, and there's an extra easy way to get to Provoca. I think that's not in the vanilla version, although I can't say for sure. So once you know the way through it, it's actually pretty quick to get from the volcano to Provoca to rest. And then he added a dock, I think, on the eastern side of the Aldi Sea here in the middle. That uh, is kind of a quick way down to the ice cave. But I do need to restock on my potions and stuff. So let's do that. I forgot about that. Almost went, uh, almost went over there. Where am I here? 
Oh, there. Okay. I was farther from Corneria than I thought. There we go. Because I am completely out of heal potions. And thankfully, I can just do buy nine nine times and fill up. Three. But the ice cave, I'm sure, is going to be pretty scary. But I'm very glad that I got the equipment from Ordeals before going in so that I can be using, especially that heal staff. That's going to make such a big difference in my in my healing plan. Oops, uh, so I have too many of those. Let's get another nice handful of tents. And the only other thing I want to make sure about... Yeah, 39 softs should be enough. Do I have any weapons or armor I want to sell? Um, yes. Let me sell... I'll sell those two silver swords. Well, I'll sell... I'll sell one of the silver swords, just to make a little bit of... little bit of room. Okay. And let's get the heal staff right up in front. And actually, I might bop the heal staff down to you. So that I don't have the, the better attacker sitting there with the uh, with the heal staff. So let's get the useful stuff up in front every time on all of these characters. Yeah, Flame and Snow, I'm not really going to be using much, but Dream, Free, Cure, Heal, Light Axe. Uh, let's get the Sun Staff over here onto one of these guys. Let's go that way. So let's go so he can do Sun Staff or Holy. All right, there we go. So I'm going to navigate down to the ice cave, and I'm going to take just a quick break before we actually jump into the ice cave, so... Be ready for that. Good, strike first. And again, in the ice cave, I'm going to run from every battle that I can. Both to save resources and to save experience. That's the volcano. This might not be the right the, the right river to jump on. From in here. I'll see. 